All right, we're here for round two for our Rookie of the Year Mega Draft here. Once again, playing with uh, all the cards that we played with over the past year in Arena Gauntlet League. We got uh, Evan here, who stayed with us. We saw him win the first round with his Simic deck. And he's facing Ryan, who had the the con the more controly, grindy Rakdos deck of, of the one the two that we saw during the during the pool review. And uh, what's Ryan got going on over there? Uh, he's got a Vadmir. Uh, he had the option of being able to play a tapped Desert Land, but wisely recognizing that uh, a three three is simply better than a two two. Um, and he's got a forest, two other mountains. The Consuming Ashes, and the only other creature is the Edgewall Pack. All right, so we did see an absolute tragedy on Evan's side. I'm not talking about the mulligan. I'm talking about putting Treasure Cruise on the bottom after the mulligan. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's uh, can't really hold this B-spawn out. Caster is just going to run it out. rest of his hand is uh, Jade Seed Stones, the, that four-drop artifact that we saw pay very big dividends. Uh, for him in uh, in round one, and then he has a bunch of high drops, so he's going to need uh, a bit of a bit of help here, a lot with lands and things to do, which is hard task for. He has the archive dragon, Clint Weaver, and the Hollow Marauder, so all the all the big boys, but uh, nothing to get him there. Yeah, Ryan having a free attack here, recognizing that uh, Evan can't afford to either single or double block with the removal spell in hand. Um, I'm surprising he's. Pitching this off now instead of developing the four drop, I guess he just wants the extra damage and the setting up the future draws. He does have a uh, summoner in hand, so this coyote on the top is like a huge combo. Yeah, so if I remember the, um, yeah, I mean there was uh, the beast Bond outcaster doesn't actually do anything after. Ooh, after it evidence is cast, for right? regret. Yeah. It, it was Read that swing. He's going to regret that swing a lot. Okay, so this is a good amount of damage coming in here. Oh, yeah. This is 10 damage? Mm -hmm. Jesus, okay. Um, he's drawn a swamp here, which means he can cast absolutely nothing and die. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we, said, we said Ryan's deck was a, little, was a little more grindy, but it could still be down. Like, we still saw he has a good curve. It's not just, you know, he's trying to, trying to play the value game. He still has, you know... Uh, extremely reasonable curve that can get him there. Did Evan have any other options there besides the stones? No, his hand was all high drops. It was all stuff that cost six and up. Yeah, I think in that situation, I mean, you're not winning with the 6-6, six, six, so I, I think it's just like, even if it looks like a good attack, uh, if your win con is getting to late game, uh, you know, maybe, maybe prepare for the worst. Apparently if you only play cards from OTJ, you just win the game. <laughs> so just, uh, Vladimir consuming ashes, Skillstorm Summoner, Cunning Coat. Like, we're just we're, we're just playing OTJ here, and uh, I did I did note during the draft that the OTJ cards just seemed uh, independently in a vacuum stronger than than the other sets. So uh, I I could see people putting more OTJ cards in their deck than than other sets. Absolutely. I, OTJ is a lot stronger than I remember it. Evan, I think, made one change. I didn't quite catch it, but uh, is uh, Ryan doing any significant amount of sideboard? He's a cut in, I guess, because he figures... Oh, yes, okay, so he, he's opting to put in um, one of these edict spells instead. Yeah, well, he figures if it's Simic, he's probably trying to just play bigger stuff, and maybe I can get him with a sack. But, uh, I mean, like we saw there, Ryan's deck was just functioning <laughs> as a very scary deck without without having to work too hard, it seemed. No, he, he, he I mean, the Coyote into a uh, Scale Storm Summoner is just like, there are very few hands that can stand up to that. Yeah, I mean, that was just a thing you could do in that set and uh, was good there and is uh, still good here. So we saw Mulligan last game, and we have to take a Mulligan here with absolutely no lands. And this hand looks uh, a little better than the last one here. He has we a have crowd. He has a pro pro Projector Inspector, 
uh, Huatli's final strike and a bunch of lands. So uh, kind of kind of slow, but at least he's got the crap to set up. What's going on over uh, there? We've got a coyote that I think he's going to opt to set up the plots. Um, we do have the dreaded Imodange recruiter Ooh. alongside with our board wipe and deadly cover up, uh, torch the tower, and we will be able to recur something with the Rutstein. Yeah, so Projector Inspector has the uh, not awkward text at all of whenever it or another detective enters, or whenever a detective can control his turn face up, you get to loot. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes your detectives just flip up. Um, I don't know how often that, that'll happen here, but uh, I mean, just a 3 mana 3 2 that loots, I mean, can't be that bad. He did dump the uh, Topiary Panther. So in hand, he has a Treasure Cruise. A forest and the Huatli's final strike. So, whatever Ryan deploys, Evan could get rid of it if he uh, sees it as a threat. Yeah, it's a bit awkward here. He's got the Imidens Recruiter, but he's definitely expressing a hesitation about wanting to play it. Um, he does have a Monstrous Rage he drew for the turn, which would allow him to. Uh, I guess he's going to take the trade here. Yeah, Monstrous Rage is, only provides one toughness, so it doesn't allow him to survive this. Yeah. So he would says, be able to kill the I crab. If, this, I, but, yeah, yeah, I think Evan says I need the crab. I can't let it die. Too so much. instead of uh, developing the recruiter just to have a body on the board, he recognizes that he does have the board wipe, so it's okay for him to lose tempo yeah. here. Um, so he's just holding on to this torch tower and the monster's rage. Do we know if he has access to a white source to cast the uh, cast the adventure? Ooh, Evan's going to get punished for this pretty has he, bad. Has he opened himself up to like a shock variant here? Yeah. Yeah, he's got the torch in yeah, hand. Okay. That's that's how it goes sometimes when you got nothing else to do. And unfortunately, this. Uh, oh yes, we, we were saying that it looked like he was going to splash the. Oh my gosh, this is actually. Yeah, this really, is really good. Cool. Yeah, here, just. Yeah. <laughs> and unfortunately, the torch of tower exiled the creature, so he couldn't even uh, couldn't even make use of his treasure cruise with it. Dang. But he dumps all the cards in the graveyard and says, none of these are going to do anything. I am uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> yes, he is, especially with the recruiter in hand. He picked up a diamond pickaxe, which means he is going to be able to actually get the white required to uh, okay. the value side of this card. Yeah, so Ryan's deck at first glance looked like a bit more grindy, but I mean, it can just beat down as well. I mean, I think it's it's very well balanced because it, yeah. it can have aggressive starts, but it can also win the late game, which is kind of where you want to be with these type of decks. Like, you want to have a backup plan for when your opponent does stabilize and fill the board with stuff. You want to have ways to to beat that. Man, this would be such a different game if the if the crab swing hadn't happened. Um, yeah, I mean, the crab would probably just die to a torch the tower anyways at some point because he could just, like, he could put the 0-5 in front of, uh, like, a you know, like a 3-3 and then get, get torched post-combat. So it's all all varying degrees of bad here. And uh, we do get to do the thing. So The uh, thing? Yeah, the thing being... Oh, we do like the thing. We love the thing. Yeah, spend two mana, <laughs> draw three cards. I mean, that's, it, 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 it's a thing. That's a near-perfect uh, cruise. So it's a land, another land, and then a water wind scout. Water, well, okay. I mean, that's at least being efficient with our mana. What What's the rest of his hand looking like? It's lands and the Huatli strike. Ah, that's not ideal. All right, he sees a nervous gardener. I would be nervous about keeping that. I don't think he needs another land. That can't be. Okay, he's keeping. I guess he's just saying like anything that just is a is a creature like is 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 good enough. Oh, he's gonna be brutal here. He's got the monstrous rage in hand. So if he takes the block, he opts not to. Yeah. But um, at this point, now you are just going to die to this recruiter. Yeah, recruiter is just going to kill him next turn. I mean, he has he has a he has a creature, he has the gardener, he has the Quatley's final strike. But I mean, and it's just a matter of time here at seven with the monstrous rage. I guess his best hope, uh, Evan's best hope, is that he can he can hit something with the final strike that gets targeted with the monstrous rage. That's yeah. probably his best bet to make it make it to another turn, but 
He'll be facing down. Potentially grim here. Yeah, this is. Uh, and he gets the slight the cyclop raptor, which he could even opt to like play. Is that just like the four three for three? That's the one that like yeah punishes you for. Oh, cast. I mean, oh, yeah. oh, if you if you if a player casts a spell on his left, their turn. <laughs> so if damage. you have it, you better do it now, man. Four that's, damage. That's, okay, well, he's like, that's yeah. rough. All right, I'm in. Does Ryan yeah. have another land to play the uh, recruiter? He doesn't, but he does have this okay. pickaxe that's equipped, so, I mean, he's happy not seeing lands the rest of the game. Okay. Oh, man. Ooh, he chooses the wrong option. Uh-oh. I mean, I mean oh, Brian, he can, oh, he can monstrous rage to have Yeah, he can just get him out of range. Right. Ooh, that's so rough. Yeah. That's not quite is it game? I don't think Ryan Swing. Ryan recognizes he doesn't need to swing. No, it's not game here, but I mean, he, he's gonna opt to. I mean, trade off the coyote. He takes four and then eats a two-two. Yeah, I mean, mm. not not great. Yeah, he needs basically like Gwilin Weaver, and even then, I think he's probably still dead to like. Oh wait, no, he doesn't even. Oh, he, yeah, he does have seven. Okay. But Weaver will gain like six life. Six. That, and he's going. I don't to know. Yeah, I don't one. think it's even good. Enough. And it's a snakeskin veil. So he sees the recruiter coming. He knows what's up. So uh, unfortunately, a bit of a stumbling there for Evan after an oppressor showing in the first round. But we will see Ryan and his uh, juggernaut of a Rakdos deck. We'll see yeah. him in the finals here. Uh, when we when we come back for our last round.